Hey, what's up guys? It's Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. We're going to be talking about loads of different new stuff that's been going on in the Overwatch community this week. The first one is a very interesting interview with Jeff Kaplan where he talks about many different things, the progression of Overwatch and how it became to be. The fact that they actually went to Activision who had a very popular game called Call of Duty and tried to put forward to them an idea to do an FPS called Overwatch and how all of that worked out and it's a really really interesting interview but the most interesting thing I think for us as people that play the game now is the fact that Jeff has said that they are testing the new hero number 26 and that this hero is very playable and very fun. So we know that there's going to be a new hero, of course we know that, and I would put all of my money down that it's going to be for BlizzCon. Not only is it because it's BlizzCon, but also it lines up just about perfectly with how often they bring out their new heroes. So you would expect that we're going to be seeing the Hero 26, this really fun and playable one, at the beginning of November sometime, if they stick to their normal schedule. And they've said that they're playtesting loads of heroes all the time, and that they're going to be bringing out heroes consistently, and it's all about the pacing of them so it doesn't seem like they're running out of ideas anytime soon at all so we're going to be getting new heroes for a long time and one of the other really interesting things that he said in this interview was that actually having loads of heroes makes the game easier to balance because if you've only got a few classes when you change one class it really messes up the other two because it will be much stronger but when there's loads of different heroes you're always going to have multiple people that are strong even if some are on the weak side so in a lot of ways it makes the game game easier to balance not more difficult if you guys have any ideas or just thoughts of who you would love to see as hero 26 then let me know in the comment section down below the next thing is that there is a crazy junk rat i think diablo skin and a crazy diva deathwing the destroyer from wow coming out for not Overwatch. It's coming out for Heroes of the Storm. Why does this keep happening? It's happened with Tracer, it's happened with Zarya off the top of my head, I think Lucio as well. There's multiple heroes that get made into Heroes of the Storm from Overwatch and they get these amazing skins and we don't. Well I think we should get both of these skins for Halloween. Someone start a petition or something, okay? I want both of these skins in Overwatch, Jeff, okay? We know we're getting a new hero but we want skins for the old ones too. I think that these skins are absolutely amazing and they need to come to our game because they're our characters okay i'm really selfish on that next up there's actually the big patch going through next tuesday and junker town is going live for sure and the ptr has also been taken down that has the diva and the mercy changes the big ones and i'm thinking that these are going to go through on tuesday too now this is not confirmed but the timelines they just make sense the ptr has gone down they've been tested for quite a while now junker town's going live on tuesday and i'm pretty sure that's when the diva and mercy changes are going to go through as they finished up on the PTR. We don't know this 100%. One thing that I'm not sure about is the Diva change actually because they were supposed to be making a further change on the PTR and that actually never went through. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Maybe the PTR will go up but as a lot of people did like the changes I think we'll be seeing them sooner than later. Finally, there's one more thing to talk about and that is the people doing the bronze to GM runs and some people that have actually been banned for deranking their account of bronze to stream it on Twitch or just do it in general even if you don't stream so you can go from the lowest rank to the highest rank as a challenge and this has caused a hell of a lot of controversy among people in the community because some people think it's really fun and some people think it's really bad. Now you can let me know your exact opinion on it in the comments but basically one one side are saying that it's not fair to one derank your account to bronze because you're upsetting a lot of games doing that and then you're also ruining games when you carry back up to GM but from a spectator point of view watching someone that's streaming it it's a lot of fun to watch that challenge and even if people aren't necessarily throwing and they're being communicative and helpful it's still not good enough in Blizzard's eyes and that's the thing here guys it's their game you do read the terms of service and stuff when you start it up and some people are not happy with the fact that some of these people have been banned. I personally don't have a massive opinion either way. You can let me know yours. So 
What are you most excited about, guys? Do you wish you could have the skins, or do you want Hero 26 to be amazing? And who do you think Hero 26 is going to be? Be sure to check out our Twitter, guys, and also linked in the description is a giveaway where you guys can win one of the new Razer Death Adder mice that literally just came out. I've been using this mouse for a very long time. It's awesome. Make sure you go and enter that giveaway for your chance to win one. Also, I'll link you guys a product page if you'd like to check it out. Finally, guys, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when our videos go live. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and have a great day as always. Take care and peace, people.